Everybody do what you do and a smile will bring a sunshine day. Everybody do what you do and a smile will bring you sunshine. Oh hey! Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking, I'm truly grateful. If you're new to this channel, do me a favor, click the subscribe button so we can grow this channel together. So there are many motorcycle helmet Bluetooth devices out there. Some are expensive, some are cheaper. Case in point is a Sina, which is kind of regarded as the benchmark for motorcycle Bluetooth helmet devices amongst the motorcycle riding fraternity. Now, not everyone is financially sound enough to afford such an expensive Bluetooth device for your helmet. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you the Bluetooth device that I use for my motorcycle helmet, and it is much, much cheaper as well. So stay tuned. So guys, as you can see, this is my Bluetooth um, device for my motorcycle helmet. It's a little, it's a bit beat up because I've had it for six years and it's never failed me. And why change it if it's not broken? So the brand name is Vimoto, V-I-M-O-T-O or Vimoto, whichever way you want to call it. And you can see it inscribed here, Bluetooth. So I have the V6 version. There is another version that is much higher than this, but for my purpose, this was enough. So I'll just show you what this Bluetooth headset can do. So you switch this device on by pressing the big button and the small one together at the same time, like so. And it starts to flash blue light. And when you do connect to your phone or any other Bluetooth device, it flashes blue as well. So once it's in use, it'll keep flashing blue plus it adds as a safety feature as well especially at night so just as any other bluetooth device for helmets out there you will see that the speaker is right here it had this form around the speed the real plastic around the speakers when i got them but over time um, the cushions have worn off so there's one on this side and one on the other side obviously and um, and this is the connection that goes from the device outside wired into your helmet to link to link up to the speakers in the helmet now coming down to the device itself so it's got four main buttons this is the receive and cut call button it's very clicky so when you click it you can feel it has a good feel to it so you know you have clicked it properly and it's big enough so even if you're riding a high speed it's very easy to find it now this small one here has you can't see it now but when it was new it had the drawing of a helmet and what this means is if you are riding with a partner or you're riding two bikes and your riding partner has a similar device installed on their motorcycle then when you connect these two devices together you can easily talk so it's an intercom system and when it once it's connected all you have to do is press this one the small one and uh, it will ring it will make a call to the other helmet and if you want to cut the call is the same button there's a way of connecting the two Bluetooth devices together and if you have it, you will see it in the instructions when you do buy the device. Now, on top of the device, you will see the volume up and volume down. And with some phones, you can actually use these two, apart from the volume up and down, you can actually use these two to skip music and do other functions. Um, it depends on the kind of phone you have and how you've set it up, but mainly this is the volume up button, volume down button, uh, intercom button, and this is how it sticks. So just like many other devices, you're going to have this sort of 3M sort of tape thing that is first stuck onto the helmet, and then the second one is glued onto the back of the device, and then you're just going to press them to to seat just like that and it's very powerful there is not a single time that I've had it come off whilst I'm riding I've dropped my helmet a few times and each time it drops 
this thing comes off like so but it doesn't damage anything and I believe it's it's a nice safety feature for the device to survive from very heavy impact now if you look here this is the main pin that goes into the device from the earpieces in the helmet and it just plugs in like so now it also comes with other adapters that there's an aux pin here aux ports I should say and if you have a purpose for it you can always plug in and, and use it as well and this is the USB charging point it also closes as well so when you need to charge it you just use any generic USB charger the old type not type C and then you can charge it to full and when this device is charged it lasts up to eight hours of constant use so even if you're on a long trip it's going to serve you for that long before you need to charge it and uh, charging it takes about an hour and a half or so to be fully charged and if you put it on uh, a much stronger wattage charger then it's going to charge even faster the only downside that i notice of this device is it will not automatically shut if you have, you have not been using it for a long time so sometimes i put it down without shutting it off and maybe i'm passing by my helmet at night and i see the blue light flashing so it won't shut off on its own if it doesn't detect any connection so you have to remember to always shut it off but even if you leave it overnight without turning it off it doesn't really pull that much battery sometimes you still have some battery left even though you left it uh, overnight so it kind of seems like it draws a lot of power when it has a connection and it's being used but when a bluetooth connection is disconnected it will take battery but it won't run down completely and i'll just quickly show you how to release it in case you want to uh, release it so this whole unit can come off like i mentioned before now if you need to detach this front part of the device from the part that is stuck to the helmet what you can also do is if you see this lever up here you push it backwards and then you can lift the front part so this whole part is detachable from this part and as you can see these are the pins down here where this metal part comes in contact with the, the, the whole unit and uh, once that happens the magic kicks in and once again this is a nice feature if you had to leave your helmet on your bike and go eat have have lunch or do something and you're worried that someone might just yank it off what you can do is lock your helmet to your bike and detach this one and take it with you and when you come back you just reconnect it like so and you're you're ready to go so guys that's the end of this video thank you so much for sticking around if you're in the market for a bluetooth device for a motorcycle helmet and you don't have the budget enough to afford the premium brands definitely consider vmoto i've used it for six years and i can vouch that it is a good brand and it'll only cost you about 50 to 60 dollars depending on where you are in the world cool huh if this is your first time on this channel do me a favor click the subscribe button like the video and click the bell icon so whenever i upload new videos you'll be one of the first to be notified till i see you in the next video guys ride legal ride safe peace